Hi guys, welcome in F3K Review. Today, as the last Wednesday, it's the day for turn is setting. So, let's go. So today I will show you many things, so stay ready and uh, I think you will need to replay many times this video if you are interested about setting your, your turnis. So let's go. In first, as you know, when you turn your turnis on the gas stick, the throttle stick is not at the bottom, you will get this. So in English it's put the throttle at zero. So then, or you put a menu or something like this, or put the throttle at zero. But I don't want this alert no anymore. So I just go in my menu and go in throttle and uh, alert throttle. I don't know with it in English. I don't remember. And just unlock this, and that's it. It's all good. Then. For your timer, uh, me it's an old version of the firmware inside, so now you can select the switch, but me I can't. So I maybe I need to put a new firmware inside because it's one really old one. So I just put it on, and this will this uh, chrono one timer one will be for my uh, working time. So I always fly with a working time because if I want to do a task for fun I fly with a working time so I have 10 minutes and 10 seconds I want it say to me the minutes so yes then I want my flight time so I just go there in on timer 2 and I put on minutes yes um, Countdown. So compte à rebours is countdown. So I want with the voice. It's all good. So I haven't any switch. So I need to go on the menu page. Special function. So there I just select by example my preset. And my preset will put at zero. Uh, the timer number two and I select it so now my my flight time is put at zero each time I put my preset um, I want full down it put down at zero chrono one so timer one yes and I want in the middle so there it says the value of timer one yes there and then I will say this one says the value of chrono two so now I have by example 333 on the bottom so it's my flight time so it's in French, there yeah, 9 minutes and I want to put my time on the bottom at 0, so with my preset it's my flight time. Ok, go back at 0. So it's done. Then as I said in my previous video, now we will go on the mix, so I will do only on one channel so for the elements because um, I think it's not useful to do the same thing twice time for show you. So first I select with enter my CH1 and I just put a minus, a click on the minus and go select it, go in edit. Then I want snap flap. So for snap flap it's really really simple. You just go here and select elevator and then don't forget to um, put, put out the curve. Yes, you don't need the curve and really not <laughs> the Elrond one. So uh, that's it. Then you can just um, 
adjust your ratio for when you pull or on push uh, if you want any any plus and minus and then play with the differential or just leave it at 100 custom and create cb2 for set your your snap flap and then you are all good so i have my snap flap now what i can do more than this so simply i want air brakes so if i want air brakes i just go another one more time i create another line okay and then I go in max because I want it on switch. Okay, so you just do a max one. There is max. This is your ratio of uh, servo value. So you have 100, so your servo will go full in one direction. Just don't forget to put out this and to put it on the switch. Okay, so I want this switch selected okay so when i will pull this switch it will put 100 percent of ratio on the servo uh, of everyone on ch1 so you need to check if it's a good direction or not okay and then you will be able to do um, each errands if one go further than an other one it's a bit more simpler than with the gas stick if one go down more the other one so that's good and as you can see this one is really shiny this one is thinner so now I pull my air brakes and you see okay because it activate my air brakes so don't forget when you make your air brakes to do it on the Elevator 2, so make put a line, a new one, edit, and but same, do a max, and then the switch, and then you will adjust your ratio, you will need around 15% for get a correct ratio um, for your elevator compensation to the air brakes. Now, the last thing I will recommend is to do a trim throttle for set your combo. So it's really really simple. Just go a bit further. So you it will be stream T meets G because it's gas in French and it's throttle in English so it will be a T. And your trim throttle will um, will be able to set your combo. So if you go like this, it will play on the on the trim of your both ailerons to the to go lower or higher. So it will play both in the same direction. So it will help you to set your combo in each flight mode. So yes it's really 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 Sorry. useful and it's only one mix and don't forget to put out the switch and it's all good now I have my stream throttle for play with the combo so then you have your three flight mode you will be able to set it really really easily you have your air brakes your preset all is good you just need to trim them that's it for today I really hope this video help you uh, if it help you you can just put a good thumbs up or if you have any question just go in the comment down below for any question i'm here for reply to your question so that's it uh i think maybe i will do another video for more complex things so see you next time bye